Hi guys, my name is Meliza and I wanted to show you guys my Blythe collection that I have. Um, last summer I started looking at them and I really wanted one, but before I got one, an original one or a stock Blythe, I decided to get a used one first to see if I like them and to see if I could do stuff with them. So I found a frosty frock that was in used condition, but in excellent condition. She just needs a hair treatment right now. Uh, but she, everything works. Her eye mechanism works perfectly. The only thing about her is that she has a few stains on her body. But other than that, she's perfect. And then I really wanted to customize one, but I did not want to do it on my little frosty frock. So I ended up purchasing a Basak doll to see if I could, you know, customize it. If I was good at it, then I would do it. So I purchased a Basak doll. This is not her original hair. She had blonde hair and um, it was very thin. She had bald spots. Uh, so here she is. I carved her mouth, her nose. I haven't given her new eyelashes, so her eyelashes look a little weird, and I plan on giving her eyebrows in the future. Um, but I even made her eye chips out of resin. She is just so cute. Let me see. She looks like a Blythe. I mean, she's she's a fake Blythe and she's one of the she is one of the clones that is the cheapest version that you can find and she has a pure Nemo body a size small so she's poseable and the body is also secondhand and it has a few stains and I like I like these bodies and if I try hard enough she can stand on her own but their heads are just so big, sometimes they just fall over. So that's my basak though. And after carving a basak, I said, oh, I think I could do this. I think I can carve. I think I can customize them. So I purchased a factory Blythe. And this quality is much better than a basak doll. They have beautiful hair that you don't need to reroot. Um their uh their face plate is a lot better too. Um, the sock ones, when you carve them, it comes out like cheese. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of, it's hard to explain the difference. And this one is so easy to carve. Very, very easy to carve. Um, but yes, here she is. She hasn't been customized yet. I purchased two factory ones. One has a regular body and, the, and this one came with a factory pure Nemo body, I'm gonna say. Um, Mm, it's pretty good, but it's not as good as uh, the real A-Zone body. But this one's okay. So I plan on customizing her. Then after that, I got a Enchanted Petal. Here's my Enchanted Petal doll. She's so pretty. I do not plan on customizing any of my stock Blythe's except for I purchased I have a Sunday's vest but she's not here right now I'm fixing her up she came with a kind of melted spot on her eyebrow I don't know how it happened I didn't ask the seller how it happened but I wanted to fix her because she looked like she needed some work so I'm working on her and then after purchasing my enchanted petal I found French trench and I think she is so cute with her outfit this is not all her outfit she has a trench coat and a hat Ooh, she's missing her little shoe um, she has a little hat that goes with this outfit and a little bag um, but she's I just I just love her she's so cute she's so cute um, and then I purchased the first version, um, Petite Blights, their eyes do not close. So they're, um, and they have keychains, keychain key holders on their head that you can, you know, put it on your key. Um, and I plan on doing a project with these girls. And I just wanted to tell you guys, um, I mean, I, 
I want to start this video because I feel like I'm in a house full of boys. I only have boys and this is, I don't know, this is my girly time that I can have and I wanted to, you know, see what you guys make for your dolls, um, projects that you guys are working on for them. Um, and I want to share some stuff that I make with you guys so maybe it will inspire you to make something similar for your dolls let me just show you one thing that I've recently made for my my cute little Basak girl so I've recently made this cute little her, her bangs are a little wonky but okay I've made this little antler headband it just looks so cute so there's a there's a lot you can do with these girls I've learned how to make um, resin eyes what else have I learned customizing these girls changing bodies I've tried out um, different types of bodies on them um, Leica um, not Leica 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 bodies Is that how you say it? Leica bodies um, also What's that lady's name? The Drew Carey show, the Mimi, Mimi Bobek. Mimi Bobek bodies, I purchased a few of those and they, those are those are very cute. But the only problem with those bodies, you can't really pose them. And, but the good thing is that they can stand on their own, but their joints, their hands, they don't move. So they're just like, like this, very stiff. Um, what else have I done? And I purchased, um, yeah, so I mean, there's so much. I think there's so much you can do with this. And I, I I would like to see what you guys have made for your dolls. Um, if you guys would like to see a tutorial on how I made this cute little headband, just comment down and maybe I will work on a second video of um, a tutorial for you guys. I know how to make resin eyes. I know how to, I know how to paint eye chips. Uh, so just let me know what you guys want to want to see. So thank you. Bye